Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today we're here at Islands of Adventure. It's the last day of our Universal trip, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna try to get another ride in on Velocicoaster and um, try to do Hagrid's as well. I'm sure at some point we'll make it over to Universal Studios. Yeah, I definitely want to show you all the trippy store. It was really awesome when we walked through it the other day. So we'll bring you guys along and see what we can get into today. Seventh row. The uh, postal wait time was 75 minutes. I think we ended up waiting 45 minutes for the whole ride. So um, yeah, don't let the wait time intimidate you. It's a constant moving line. You're not really standing still at all no. during the line. It's just steady movement. So um, and, and you get to keep your phone with you in you the do. line. So which is great. Um, the first half of the queue is outside. Um, so it does get a little warm, but you got plenty of things to look at with Velocicoaster soaring go, past you. Yeah, it's right there. Um, so I do recommend bringing some water yes. with you to kind of cool off as you go through the line. It's a great idea. Um, yeah, it's so awesome. If you haven't made it down here to ride it yet, I highly recommend it. It's worth every bit of the hike. It is. The, it is the best coaster in, in Orlando that I can think of. Alright, well we're going to head further into the park. fish down there. Big ones. for Hagrid's. This is the only type that are good. Um, they have like a gold or a yellow one that you can get from some attractions, but only the rubies are the ones that will get you on Hagrid's. Yeah. They are not good on for the Peacock or Blossom. And 
whenever you get them, it says right on the back what they are good for and what they aren't good for, as well as the expiration date. Um, these are good until September the 1st. Yeah, so, so we're going to take advantage. This, be, um, this yeah. is the first time we've ever used yeah. them. And the wait is 90 minutes, yeah. so we'll kind of keep you posted on how long we ended up waiting. And what exactly you do get to see uh, through the express queue. Yeah, we were, you know, again, like we've never, never gotten lucky to have any review passes. Keep you posted on how they work out for oh, us. And how you randomly get rookie passes if you've been on a ride that broke down um, or some inconvenience, they will pass those out sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. No. <laughs> Just because you're in the line doesn't mean you'll get them if, if it does break down. You have to kind of stay committed and usually stay in the line for a good little while after it breaks down for them to be able to bring these out. So we did get our ride in on Hagrid's. Um, we waited about 40 minutes, but there was about a 20 minute delay. I think it was um, a little longer than that, to be honest. Well, it was a, it was a while. Um, but we were waiting inside and in the air conditioning and weren't in that big long line. So I was not complaining. No. And we got front row. We did, which is always a plus. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to wait the hour for 90 minutes for front row. It's always a great ride. Yes, it was really awesome, but I was really glad. Um, we felt kind of like VIP to use that little express lane oh. that we've seen other people use. Exactly. Um, then after we got off of Hagrid, we went to Cafe 4. Um, and we had about a 20, 25 minute wait to get into the restaurant to get seated. And then it took about 15 minutes for our food to come. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got the chicken parmesan, which was my first time ever getting that sandwich. It was a sandwich. It was really good. I would get it again. Um, and I got the spaghetti, oh, spaghetti and basically um, vegetarian. vegetarian sausage crumbles. We've been trying to steer away from beef and I couldn't find the nutritional value of their um, meatballs. So the 100% way to make sure it doesn't have beef in it is to get the vegetarian option. And it was good. Yeah, I, I tried some of the meat. I, I thought it was really good. It had a good spice to it. Yeah, it is a little on the spicy side, so if you don't like a lot of heat, maybe that's not the best option for you. But it was really good and um, fairly cheap. Typical yeah. theme park prices. Mine was twelve dollars and fifty cents. Mine was ten ninety nine. Um, uh, we got our discount. I don't remember what the cost was for everything. <laughs> no, but uh, I think we're fixing to head to back to the hotel for a little bit, and then we're gonna go back to Universal Studios and go to the tribute store. And also, um, we're hoping to go to the You and Me Hot Pot tonight, which is over by Disney Springs. So we'll definitely bring you guys along and let y'all see that. Um, we're really excited. Yeah. We've always wanted to try that type of restaurant. And when we found out Orlando had one, they also have another one apparently. But we're going to try the You and Me tonight. And uh, we'll let you know what we think about that. Might be the last time we walk out of here for this trip. We got a pouty face. But they do have these really cool new uh, kind of spirit jerseys for Harry Potter. Caleb really wants one, but they don't have a Gryffindor yet, so. Okay. Slytherin. 
and they are $65. Yeah, Slytherin. There's the Hufflepuff. I like them. They're not a very, they're a, not too thick of a material. I think they're a little thinner than Disney Spirit jerseys. I think they're definitely a summer or fall shirt. I mean, not not a summer shirt. They're definitely a fall or um, winter shirt. There was something else new we saw. Oh yeah. So this is a lounge bar? Is it a lounge? It is? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. And they're 82. It's 82? Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. And they've sold out of the Howlers. At least in this shop. They had a Howler clutch. Um, that was addressed to Ron Weasley, but apparently it looks like they've sold out. We recently went to a uh, drawstring bag. That's what Kayla carries now. And, uh, These are 28. Those are 28, but they do have a zippered pocket, which is nice. I really like those. Slytherin. A little change purse. It's a new hat I haven't seen. Oh, excuse me. You said 27? Oh, and... Oh, yeah, this was another thing we noticed for the first time. Kind of a ladies' cut v-neck. And they're... 35. 35. <laughs> Seventeen dollars for a little cat in a hat. I wonder if the things are the same price. Yep. Oh, it's the same price for a thing one or a thing two. Oh wow, this one's 30. To be honest, we haven't seen the second one yet, so I can't tell you who they are, but maybe one day we'll make it to California or maybe they'll bring the Seeker's Life to the Epic Universe. Some of the newer Jurassic World mar merchandise. The thin kind of t-shirt type material with a hood it's for 55. Fun. Oh wow, I haven't seen this one before. That one is really nice. I don't see a price on that one. Here it is. It is 38. Looks a little bigger and a little thicker than the Harry Potter ones. Yeah, they are. It's more of almost like a jean material. And they have some new Of course, we'll show you all this again in the tribute store, so. 
Yeah, but the lighting is kind of. Yeah. And these are 27. They have a lot of items with this design on them now. Those are 35. That one is 35. This is the yellow one. 27. 27 for the t-shirt. And then there's the canvas type bag. And that one is 30. And they also have a lot of Mr. DNA shirts as well, floating around in other stores. Well, I think that's going to be it. Next time we'll be heading back to Universal Studios. So it's a good thing we came back to the hotel. I don't know if you can see all that terrain. Hey guys, so we made it back to City Walk. Uh, we're fixing to go try the new restaurant that replaced the old sushi bar. And then we're going to bring you along. So we just finished our bow, that's what we'll call it. Um, it was good. It was. Uh, it's there, you get two tacos for $11.99 and an additional third one is $4.49. Yeah. We tried the... I got the veggie and pork, no I'm sorry, veggie and duck. And I got the shrimp and the fried, kimchi fried chicken. Um, both of mine were great. I would definitely get it again. Yeah, um, I thought the duck was interesting, um, and I got the veggie, um, and it was it was really good. I think out of both of them, I like the veggie a little more than I like the duck. Um, the duck I, no, I, I was gonna say the duck had a kind of like an interesting floral kind of taste yeah. to it in one of the sauces. Mm -hmm. I mean, it it wasn't bad, but I, I wouldn't order it again. What do you think of yours? Mine, I, I, my mine was great. Yeah. I guess would definitely be back. Um, however, I do say that if you are planning on this to be like your supper, uh, so go get, ahead and, and get the third one. Definitely. Uh, the second one, the, just the two, I'm cool and I'm glad because, but I'm not like overstuffed because we are going out to supper later. Um, but yeah, if you are, this is your last stop shop for the night, then I would recommend getting three of the tacos. Yep. And it was um, $26 for um two for each of us and and a bottle of water and that was 26 bucks after our discount so it's not terribly expensive um they're not very big though um but that and you'll see that in the video but they were filling um they're a lot more filling than i thought they were going to be so don't let that stop you we enjoyed it i think universal hit a home run with this one i agree all right well we're gonna head into the parks and uh go to the tribute store see you there Universal is currently doing kind of like a taste of the different countries that are involved in the Olympics. Um, it's not quite as hefty as Mardi Gras it was, but they do have a couple of food stations set up. So I, do. I don't know when they open. <laughs> no. Um, unfortunately, we've been spending a lot of time in Islands of Adventure and hadn't spent as much time as we normally do in the studio side. But they do have a couple booths up and occasionally they open up and they have hot food, desserts, and drinks. So I recommend you coming out and looking and seeing what they offer. Everything that we have seen so far has looked good.
pretty awesome sign. brought back the you design portion you can make phone cases and wall signs the phone cases start at $30 and wall signs are 30 as well You can even make a T-Rex now. How much is the sign? 30. 30? Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't. And did you show them the candles? I did. Well, I didn't show them the candles. You're 17. Mm -hmm. Artist will come. 
I'm being honest, I didn't find one I liked this year. No, we didn't like this one. The ones from Mardi Gras were We okay. fell in love with. Yeah, we've slowly been burning them. Yeah, trying to, kind, kind of trying to ration them until we can get some more because they do smell so great. You can always find this little walkway before you get to the final room really interesting. They always have a lot of kind of decor and posters, even little bones and teeth on the walls. And we're hoping that one day these uh, these signs might show up in the prop shop for purchase. You can't see that one. Into the laboratory room. This is where a lot of the Mr. DNA uh, merches. This is a really cool coffee cup I haven't seen anywhere else. It says Mr. DNA on it. And that one's $15 as well. They also have a Mr. DNA waste pack. And that's 26 This chest set was really cool. It's $60. I don't know if you can see them all, but all those dinosaurs is the chest pieces. This was really cute. They put little bubblegum machines with supposedly dino food all over them. You can probably see it a little better over here.
So we just got done riding the Escape from Green Guys. So we went in and walked around Diagon Alley for a little bit. And I just took in the sights and sounds. And I think we're gonna head to um, Men in Black. Yeah. We had a great ride on Escape from Green Guys. Um, yeah. Last scene had a little malfunction that our car kind of spun after that final launch out of the room with Voldemort and Yeah, and in, instead of going straight through, um, I don't know if y'all have ever ridden Escape from Green Gods, but at the very end you go straight through as the dragon pulls you through um, the cave, and we went through it sideways. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little touch and go there for a second. <laughs> I thought we was about to try to come into the unload station at Crooked, but it straightened out. But it was a good ride. I mean, it didn't affect anything. It just no. kind of like we knew what was going on. Everybody else around us had that was their first time. Um, but yeah, it was still fun. But we're definitely gonna go try to shoot some aliens. Uh, the last time we went, our gun kind of malfunctioned, so it wasn't our best ride. So we're and we keep getting the red side. Yeah, uh, we both prefer the green side. So but cross your fingers that we actually have a working gun. Yeah. Pretty sure we're not gonna max out, but we're gonna try. <laughs> We got off Men in Black and we're kind of making our way towards the exit in the parking garage. Um, I did a pretty good, I think we both did pretty good on Men in Black this time. Yeah, I, we got the green side like we like. And yep. um, we both got the bonus. That's always nice when we both get it. Exactly. I think I ended up with 475, 474,000 yeah. and you ended up with? Uh, 434,000. Yeah, so, so we both did okay. I mean, you know, I'd always like to do better. Eventually one day we might max out, but. Well, it made me feel better than the, the 150000 that I got last time. Yes. So, um, but yeah, I think we're fixing to head out, go. Um, we gotta run to the hotel real quick, and then we're headed to Hot Pot, uh, UME Hot Pot. It's over there by Disney Springs, so um, we'll, uh, we'll see you back over whenever we make it over there. Hey, so we've made it to the You and Me Revolving Hot Pot. Um, it was about a 15 20 minute drive yeah not too far from universal um and right around the corner is disney springs so if you want to do some shopping afterwards i uh, definitely this is a good in between place. definitely is um they we just got our name on the list and they said it was a uh, 30 minute wait yeah. um they, they do take reservations so that is an option um not sure how you go about doing that because we didn't do it but come on something yeah. to keep in mind and you can wait inside they do have a little bar or you can wait outside and they'll just get your phone number and call you whenever um, your table is ready so we'll let you know how long we end up having to wait and it's currently 8 30 so We just got back to the hotel and uh oh my gosh that was an experience yes um i was a little apprehensive when we kind of started out at hot pot but um as time goes on you get more comfortable with the way things work um it's really cool design yeah. um yeah i really thought it was great um the revolving thing uh that goes conveyor right, belt <laughs> the, well the conveyor belt uh, but yeah it's it's cool make sure if you see something that you like make sure you go ahead and grab it because it might be another two or three minutes yeah. before it um comes back around so we kind of learned that you know if kayla wanted something or if i wanted something we tell the other one that way in case they saw it going by they you could get it 
Right. Because you'll get in the middle of cooking and then totally forget, oh, you know, I'm supposed to be looking out for broccoli or corn or mm -hmm. whatever it is that you want. Yeah. I had, um, I, I did the spicy broth. And you did the original. I did the original, yeah. And we actually that worked out great. I tried his, and I'm like, eh. and he tried mine, and he was <laughs> like, eh. so it, we we chose right on the first try. Um, we did get two of the specialty teas. I got the peach oolong tea. It was amazing. Yeah, I got the super fruit tea. Um, I liked it. I just don't know that I would get it again. It was a little sweet for my taste. Yeah, um, but it, it actually had slices of lime, orange, um, something else. And then it had uh, the fruit in the bottom of it. So it, it was good. Um, but yeah, it, it, if you like super sweet things, then I definitely recommend trying it. Mm -hmm. um, what the else? meat bar was, was interesting. Um, we weren't as adventurous for our first time. All right. But they do have um, a lot of seafood, clam, or not clams, I'm sorry, oysters. Oysters, mussels, they have you know, blue, blue crab, crab large, um, um, sorry. <laughs> large shrimp, um, beef aortas. I've never seen those on the menu before. Yeah, they have beef balls, uh, fish balls. Um, I tried some of the fish, and they had chicken, pork, fatty beef, and lamb. lamb. Um, since we're kind of staying away from red meat, um, I stayed with the chicken and the pork, and I had some fish. The fish cooked up really good. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't take long, so just this little in, you know, just a, a tip is to kind of monitor your meats because they can get overcooked pretty quickly. Yeah, um, but and, and if they have uh, menus on the side uh, near everybody's table, that kind of tells you how long. To leave it into the broth um and of course you can leave it in longer that if you want something to be softer uh corn seems to be a pretty yeah corn long... took a while oh. um they do have a sauce spot um unfortunately we didn't get any video of that we didn't because it's on the other side of the restaurant um yeah we actually got do our jason got you <laughs> i got you that because i wasn't looking for it because i knew they had it and the little lady looked at me and was like, where are you going? So I, I went and sat back down at the table and had to regroup. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really great. I would do it again. The robot that seats you was pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't have anywhere to go <laughs> with us. It yeah. was like she turned the corner and we were at our table. Yes. Um, um, now, I know, I know when we left off the video, we said they told me a 30-minute wait. Uh, we waited 10 minutes and got the phone call. Yeah. Um, the entire experience took uh, almost two and a half hours. No, no, I'm sorry, one and a half hours. I was about to say about an hour and yeah, a half. Yeah, about an hour and a half we were. Um, and, and that was us kind of fumbling through. Yeah, um, the first 30 minutes. Yeah. So, but I definitely recommend it. It was 62, 64. 63. Yeah. yeah, 63 something and some change. Without tip. I mean, we did tip now. But that was before tip, yeah. um, and that was for the two of us and two teas. And water's a complimentary. You have to ask for a fork. Yes, um, and now that's another tip. And we both wish we were better on um, uh, chopsticks. Yes, um, if I could use chopsticks better, I believe the experience would be a little better. Um, mm. There was a learning curve. Um, when you start off, you get a plate and a spoon. And we didn't know where to put our noodles, but yeah. luckily I was able to, to, to people watch enough to see that the the bowl that your noodles come in, that you yeah. cook them in, that's what you put them back in to eat. So. All right. Well, I think that's going to kind of wrap this video up. Um, we hit a lot of things today. We had a really good time. Um, it was a great ending to our little vacation. Yeah. Um, we are going to Disney in August. So That'll be our next Orlando trip. Yep, so stay tuned for those videos. Um, and this is be our first time ever staying on site at Disney, so that's really fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, make sure if you like this video to hit that like button. Please comment with any future suggestions, uh, anything that you want to see, or any other restaurants that are similar to that. that exactly. I know like there is. Try. Yeah, definitely. And um, subscribe for more content like this. We look forward to bringing it to you guys. All right. Thank you.